1600s, African tribes used to wear their hair to tell a story. So if you're from a certain tribe, your hair will be in a certain way so that everyone around you knows what tribe you're from. If a young girl was getting married, her mother would prepare her hair, okay? With red mud, they use that to adorn the hair, okay? And this part of Africa is Namibia. They used to think that their hair was the closest thing to God, so it was really precious. In other words, it was their identity. If they didn't have hair, then they had no identity. I remember this really large hairstyle. It, it was really, really tall, and there was corner at the sides with buns. And now it would be really unusual when you look at it, but then it was, it was the most sacred thing you could ever have. When you see braids, somebody with long braids, twists, even weaves, all of these styles originate in Africa. The slaves were sold to the West. Their hair was shaved off. They thought they lost their identity because there was no hair on their heads. Slaves had to bear with butter and oil to keep their scalps clean. The slaves had scabby hair, so they wrapped, it, they wrapped their head, hair around a cloth to save further embarrassment. There was a woman called CJ Walker. She was the first black millionaire. She had the courage to stand up to white people. She was the one who invented shampoo, curl and press. Try my wonderful new hair grower. Forget conking your hair. My product causes no pain. It's so easy to use. All you need to do is shampoo, press and curl. A lot of white people used to be racist and they never let any black people to have any jobs. So black people use something called conking to make their hair look straight, like white people. It used to really hurt, it used to burn their skull. You should be proud of what you are. You should be proud of being black. You don't have to change your color or change your hair. You should just stick to what you are. Malcolm X is tired of conquering my hair for foolish reasons because of white standards. Making my hair, making my scalp burn for life, bruises in black people's hair. I am fed up of this, black people having to conk their hair. We should be able to grow our hair naturally. Negro men and women are brainwashed into believing that black people are inferior and they will even violate their God created bodies to try and look pretty by white standards. In the 50s and 60s, Afro hair came popular to different people. This is the era that I was born in. Most people walked around with a huge Afro. If you weren't proud of your hair, then you weren't proud of your identity. In the 1970s, first the Afro would have considered to be un unacceptable, but then it changed from politics to fashion. Later on, it went back to being too black. The relaxer came in and it was very, very big. Now it was so easy. Instead of having to go through all that trouble to straighten it, all you had to do was put some cream in your hair and wash it off. In the 80s, the Jericho was a very popular hairstyle for black people in America. Over time, it started to become unpopular because Michael Jackson had a terrible experience with his Jericho. His hair set alight during a Pepsi commercial. We died. Oh, my hair! Ah! It's burning! Someone help! It was a very... Uh, creative time. It was a lot of um, design work. There was a lot of flamboyancy, with, especially when men's and their hair cutting. My uncle used to have Jericho, but because he used so many various chemicals, he eventually went bald. The actress bald Jericho wore braids and made it popular for the white race. Anything goes, you can see David Beckham with supercar rolls. Rap to Marco Westar, Michael Cody. 
The Queens, Frankie and Benny and Robert. Same bond. Thanks to Tim, Chocolate Film, Rohan, Julia and Rachel Wang. As the mid-90s came in, the hairstyles got a little bit shorter, they got a little bit um, slicker. Oprah Winfrey outed all the Hollywood celebrities that had weaves, like Naomi Cranwell, Diana Ross, and Whitney Houston. There are different ways people attach weaves into their hair. Bonding using glue, searing using heat, cornrows, and sewing hair into your own plaited hair. With fashion and multiculturalism, all hairstyles are now available to everyone. It's changed as we've moved out of Africa and moved um, across the world. You know, we've taken on other cultures and we've become um, more accepting of other cultures and just adapted, really. As time's gone on, it's been more of a definition of who that particular individual is. Still within the black community, the way people wear their hair is very, very important. important. 